You know, one of the things I thought that we were able to develop at St. Pat's was, you know, great energy, effort, intensity, defense. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, the, the state of New Jersey was always great for that, great defense. And, and we were part of that. And, you know, uh, with that, I think we brought that intensity, that great defense, playing a little bit harder than I think in, in this area of the country. A lot of teams were more offensive minded. And we came in with a more, you know, hard-nosed attitude, more aggressive defensive attitude, got the kids to learn to play harder, mm -hmm. that were here. And they had a lot of talent here when I got here. And they had more talent than we had at St. Pat's. And mm -hmm. in fact, year one, we had a lot of talent, but the kids, it took me forever to get them to learn how to play hard. To get, you know, when you're at St. Pat's, you came in, you know, yeah, we had transfers at St. Pat's, but people forget, still 85% of the kids were kids that were there forever, that started as freshmen or sophomores, so they were in the program, so it's easy to learn when, you know, you're a freshman and you learn from Dexter and Kyrie and you dive on the floor and going after it, you start, you do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And here, when I got here, they just didn't play hard, and it took a, it took a while, you know, several months to get them to learn how to really get after and play hard, and now it's starting to become a culture here. Usually you hear him yell your name, but um, you kind of know what to he expects of you, so it's not really a bad type of yell. It's kind of uh, just wake up and do what you're supposed to do. So I'm kind of used to um, getting yelled at for you know just you know not thinking or doing something that I should have done. But uh, it's it's a, a good yell. It's not a, a crazy okay. mad yell. Three quarter back, ball bounce, right from here, not from there, from in front of the rim. Get another ball. We've been on ESPN 17 times in the last three years. You know, uh, we play Friday on ESPN here. So we could be on ESPN anywhere from three to five times this year. Mm -hmm. um, and with that type of exposure, um, it's just a snowball effect that more and more people want to be part of it. I mean, kids want to be in the big show. You know, it's just like when Kyrie came, it was kind of like he was in a, you know, he's a great player. People didn't know about him. And he was tired of going to big events and seeing himself not being part of it. So he wanted to go where he can get better, take his game to the next level in competition and practice with teaching. And then also, I want to play in Elizabeth High School, in the Dunn Center, in this place, in that place. You know, and be part of the, the, the you know, the eight o'clock game that everybody's going to see every every night. And one of the things we did at St. Patrick's and obviously we're doing at Montverde, I think uh, Prep Nation said the other day in their rankings, I'm, I'm not exact, I think it was I think, it could be wrong, I think it was 32 of our last, I, I don't know, you got to look at it, it was some ridiculous number, like 34 of our last 62 games or something were against ranked opponents. It's kind of like uh, the Duke of high school, I guess. Um, also, with the education, I think that plays a massive part in it, but also just being able to go against the best players um, every day. I think that's the biggest attraction. But last year, we played 14 teams that appeared in somebody's top 10. So I think when you do that too, if you're a competitive guy and a good player, you know, you get it that it's part of getting better is being with good teaching, but also part of getting better is being with, get against good competition every day where you're forced to compete and get better and learn to play at a different level of, of, of effort and intensity. And then, you know, people don't realize they get to college, a lot of guys aren't ready to play because they haven't competed like that every day. Mm -hmm.